The title of Module 5 was Confidence Intervals in the T-Test. But when you get into the learning objectives, it's really a lot more than that. Describe the basic concepts underlying statistical inference, such as random sampling and so forth, probability theory, z-scores, hypothesis testing, and the different types of t-test. So uh, the purpose of this module is to take a deeper dive into Module 5, and uh, I hope that I'll be able to clarify some of the underlying themes um, that the author is talking about. So we're going to talk about statistical inference uh, uh, and the importance of random sampling. Uh, we're going to differentiate samples and populations and uh, parameter estimates and hypothesis testing and the notion of error. Uh, I'm going to explain probability theory uh, as it pertains to statistical inference. And uh, you'll recall, I believe from module two or three, where we um, talked about z-scores and we were finding areas under the normal curve. Um, we're going to bring that back into focus uh, for just a moment to uh, look at that normal distribution in terms of uh, probabilities rather than areas under the normal curve. Uh, I'm going to take you through the interpretation of a t-test by way of um, a format or a procedure that you can use to uh, test just about any type of hypothesis. And finally, uh, we're going to differentiate independent and dependent t-test. So, uh, statistical inference um, the, has a basis and an assumption in randomness and uh, statistical inference is all about random variables. So what is a random variable? Well, um, let's take uh, an IQ score as a random variable. Uh, IQ scores uh, in a group of people uh, tend to vary and uh, they tend to vary just randomly, uh, but they tend to also converge on uh, a mean. So random variables are variables where scores can vary and um, uh, they often vary just due to random fluctuations uh, around that variable rather than systematic fluctuations. And uh, that's where hypothesis testing comes in. Uh, to differentiate between randomness or typical kinds of scores um, as opposed to uh, scores that fall outside of a typical score, a, a statistically significant uh, area of that normal curve. Um, statistical inference has everything to do with drawing a random sample from a population and um, in order for statistics to work, if the process is not random, then the statistical outcomes are going to be biased in some way. Therefore, um, one of the things that you may notice in reading journal articles is that uh, the samples are not random. Therefore, uh, when this occurs, uh, the researchers need to be very careful about uh, how they're generalizing the scores of that sample to a larger population. Well, uh, population is to parameters as samples are to statistics. Population parameters are the things that describe a population, such as the population mean and the population variance. Um, those are uh, uh, a, a single value for a population. Uh, samples, on the other hand, are uh, 
entities of data that result from uh, a random process of selection. And uh, they most often represent a subset of the population, a random sample. And there are a lot of different ways to uh, produce a random sample. Uh, for example, uh, you could assign a random number to uh, everyone in the population and then uh, just start with uh, uh, a, a number and then uh, start drawing uh, from there. Or uh, you could, as long as you stir the pot, then uh, you could just take one uh, sample at a time or a cluster of samples. I believe it was Gallup uh, who made the analogy about sampling, and he used um, uh, cooking chili. And he said, uh, how big of a spoon do you need to test whether a pot of chili is salty enough? And he said, you know, really, you just need a very small uh, spoon. And if you think about it, those of you who have cooked chili, if you have a big cauldron of chili brewing uh, under a, a big fire, uh, you don't need to drink uh, a quart of it to determine whether it's salty enough. Uh, but what you do have to ensure is that you have stirred that pot because if you salt the uh, pot of chili and uh, you don't stir it, then either you're going, you're going to uh, draw a sample from a place where you just poured the salt, and hence it would be too salty, or you would sample from a place where the salt had not been incorporated, and hence it would not be salty enough. And therefore, random sampling uh, and, and statistical inference rather works provided you have stirred the pot. Uh, but when you read journal articles, uh, very rarely are they drawing a random sample from a population. Um, samples have uh, statistics, and, and that's what we're going to be studying in this course. Uh, statistical outcomes, such as the sample mean, the sample variance, the sample standard deviation. Um, in regression, it's going to be the regression coefficients, the B weights, the beta weights. Uh, in analysis of variance, it's going to be the uh, F ratio. Uh, it, it may be the T score and a T test, um, things like that. So um, this whole notion of statistical inference uh, is based on uh, random processes uh, that we use to draw samples from a population, and then from those samples, we create estimates of the population parameters. Uh, and that's what we did in, in your assignment this week, and that was to compute uh, 95 and 99 percent confidence intervals about a sample mean. And uh, uh, finally, um, in statistical inference, it, it leads us into a discussion of hypothesis testing, and in particular, uh, T-tests.